Hey everyone, it's Ted with Emergent Free Diving for Tuesday's tip, alternate diagnosis for seasickness so you don't have to admit that you're seasick. They say, Ted, no, 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 I'm not seasick. I just didn't get enough sleep last night. Well, I remember when I worked in the office, if I got six hours of sleep instead of eight, I'd show up for work and I'd just start throwing up all over the conference table or the, or the cubicle, right? So it may not be that they're seasick, they just didn't get enough sleep that night. Or they say, Ted, no, 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 no I'm, I'm not seasick, is I feel fine when I'm underwater. It's just like when I'm on the surface, that's kind of what makes me sick. Now you might think, well, that's what seasickness is, but you'd be wrong because once someone claims that they don't get seasick, then any vomit that comes out of their mouth must be from another factor. So what it could be is it could be SWS, surface wave sickness, which is not seasickness, by the way, right? Because it's not the sea that's making them sick or the salt, it's just those waves on the surface. So if you're out in the ocean and it's rough and you're throwing up, instead of going through linguistic jujitsu to come up with an alternate diagnosis, just do what I do and say, crap, I'm seasick because that's what it is.